Op accidentally trained her cat to be an eating disorder support pet. July 2021 True Off My Chest. Originally posted by you, Moonchild86 in our True Off My Chest on April 12th. 21. Updated on July 19th. 2. Trigger warning. Eating disorder. Mood spoiler. Heartwarming and positive. Less than. Original post. I accidentally trained my cat to be an eating disorder support pet. I'm feeling guilty today. I've had this cat for three years now. My ed got significantly worse about two and a half years ago. At first, I didn't even realize what she was doing. I had a problem with purging for a long time. She would get between me and the toilet, demanding attention and fuss, while I cried. She would sniff my face and lick it, making it impossible to purge. If I locked her out of the bathroom, she would meow so loudly that I'm sure the neighbors heard. I finally managed to stop purging last year after recovering and relapsing a few times. The lockdowns have been really difficult, and not being able to go to the gym hasn't helped. A couple of months ago, my cat stopped eating. She got so skinny, she was really underweight. Vets couldn't find anything wrong, I hadn't changed her food, there was no reason for it. I'm not sure how it happened. One day, I decided to have breakfast, too. So I sat down with my food and put her bowl next to me. And she finally ate. I did the same at lunchtime. And again, she actually ate. The same the next day. And the next. We've been doing it for a while now. She's still underweight, but she's getting there. I wake up at 7 a.m. every day. We have breakfast at 9 ninths point three zero. I need those couple of hours to build up to breakfast. I slept really badly last night. I woke up at 9.10, and I just couldn't do it. Lunch is at 12, I just couldn't eat. I put Lily's food down by me. She stared at me. Stared at her bowl. Stared at me again. Then walked away. I'm heartbroken that I couldn't do it for her. She needed me to eat and I let her down. She finally ate at lunchtime. I had a sandwich. She kept glancing at me, pausing for me to continue before she would eat more. People say, we don't deserve animals. I don't deserve this cat. She is saving my life, quite literally, and I don't think anyone appreciates or understands how incredible that is. It's also absolutely terrifying. I don't deserve this cat. Update. I was trying to reply to everyone, but this took off a whole lot more than I thought it would. I can't believe the awards from everyone, the comments and likes, but most importantly, the massive amounts of support from everyone. Thank you for sharing your stories, your pets, your support, encouragement, and your belief in us to get better. I'm absolutely overwhelmed and I really wish I could thank you all personally, heart. Please know that I'm reading every comment and will try to reply but I do have therapy today so it may take a while. Also, we've just had breakfast. Lily had chicken and duck. I had granola and yogurt heart. For those who have asked to see a picture. Update July 19th, 21. Lily and I are both a healthy weight now finally heart. Lily was actually cleared at the vets a few weeks ago but I wanted to wait. Last week was my last eating disorder therapy appointment. So now we have both been cleared. I've also managed to get Lily eating on her own. We both eat regularly but now she doesn't wait for me to start eating first. I just wanted to update everyone and say thank you so much for your support. It's been more appreciated than you'll ever know heart. It's fascinating how this cat has taught itself some behaviors that psychiatric support animals are trained in purposely, especially the direct intervention in self-harming behaviors. That's not one they usually pick up on their own. But cats especially are very schedule-oriented. Give your cat a treat every time you take your meds. And soon enough, they will never let you forget. Op and her cat are the friendship story we need in our lives. There is some horrible stuff on this site, but this is the kind of thing I keep coming back for. 
It may sound weird coming from a stranger on the internet, but I am so very proud of Oop, and so grateful and relieved that both her and Lily are at a healthy weight and have improved their relationships with food. So glad Oop had Lily come into her life. I have a feeling she made a huge impact on her life during the recovery process. I wish them both the best. As I remember it, scientists have suggested that cats see us as large hairless kittens that they want to care for. This is why they bring us dead mice and birds. They're trying to teach us to hunt and trying to feed us. It would seem as if the girl's kitty knew she was having issues and so tended to her big hairless kitten. This reminds me of a story I read a long time about about cat that got sick and stopped eating. After taking them to the vet and still no change, the cat's owner started to cry and this made the cat finally start to eat. The cat did get better and now, anytime their owner is crying, the cat will walk up with a mouth full of food and start eating in front of them, thinking that seeing them eat will make the owner feel better. Excuse me, I have to go hug my cats. Cats make great therapy pets. None of my cats have been trained necessarily to react to my anxiety attacks. But every cat I've ever owned has learned on their own to come up to me during an anxiety or panic attack to help me through it. They all have had their own unique ways of dealing with it. One would just lean against me and purr. Another would just get in my face and yell for my attention. And yet another would crawl into my lap and chirp at me. When you raise cats properly, they love you with everything they have and learn your needs the way you learn theirs. All of my cats throughout my life learned that I have trouble regulating my emotions and developed their own ways of helping me through it. This is one of the best things I've seen here in a while. That is also one of the best kitties I've ever seen. Beautiful both inside and outside. I so glad Op got better. Sometimes all people need is to care about another to realize how much damage they are doing not only to themselves but to others. In this case her cat. The connection between pets and owners is strong when built with love. And here it shows. Sobbing on the toilet. My dog used to alert me when my blood sugar was low. He would paw at me to wake me up to check it. Now he's 17 yo and retired. He mostly sleeps and begs for food anymore. Animals are truly a gift to us. My son recently got a cat. He was on a work call with the door closed and hadn't eaten yet. And it was getting on mid-afternoon. His cat dumped her bowl and started batting her kibble under the door crying at him. She seems distressed if he goes too long without eating. This is so sweet pleading face oop sounds like a very caring and loving cat mom. This reminds me of that Tumblr post where the owner's cat got really sick and wouldn't eat. When the cat slowly began eating kibble one by one the op got really happy. So whenever op was sad the cat would bring over a mouthful of kibble to eat. I have a friend who is diabetic. And her old cat used to knead her with his paws when her blood sugar dropped. If she was asleep, he'd wake her by doing it. And if she was awake he'd just come over and do it so she'd test. Cats can be so clever. Hello? I only just woke up why am I sobbing already? Such a gorgeous cat. Glad Oop and her are doing okay. I've had something similar happen with my cat. I tend to panic and spiral into an anxiety attack whenever I get overwhelmingly stressed. And I didn't realize that it was affecting my cat until recently. Whenever I find myself raising my voice, arguing, crying, etc., she will start meowing loudly, rubbing herself against me, reaching up and tapping me to get my attention. When I eventually looked it up, I learned that it was her way of calming me down and OMG we don't deserve cats.
She had been doing this the whole time. Starting during my toughest point in college as I was stressing over dropping out of engineering. That is so cute. Seems like you both really need each other. Now I miss my cat crying his leg had to be amputated and then. We got him home he started to get very sick. Stop eating completely. Turns out he has kidney problems now. He has been at the vet for almost a month now. I miss him so much. He is the cutest cat ever. Cats are insanely clever. I have a savannah cat that learned as a young cat and now that he is 7.5 kilograms of spots. Can do much more effectively that when I was having an anxiety attack he could sit on my chest and squish me and it would help. He graduated to teaching himself to remove my glasses by hooking his fangs around the nose and pulling gently and place them on the side table before performing the loaf position on my chest for maximum squish. None of this was purposefully trained. He saw me in distress and managed to figure out something that helped and then also was able to equate that my glasses were important and how he could keep them safe while I was having an attack. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.